Yeah. Well, look, before we talk about England-France, because we've been having a bit of a, a Barney about it anyway, uh, yeah. if we get knocked out in the yeah. quarterfinals. But um, Portugal won. Uh, breeze through they looked a bit special as well and actually you look at their side on paper and it's a brilliant side they didn't even start Ronaldo tonight and the man scores a hat trick absolutely superb <clears throat> yeah and and and, and you know, this was um, a team they played in Switzerland that was so open expansive allowed to Portugal they were, ter- they were terrible yeah but you but you in stark contrast to compare to the way Morocco set up and Switzerland, there's a naivety about Switzerland. To, to, to go in and attack a team on paper, which is as good as anything you can find, Yeah. In, in, right now in the, in, in the world, though, you go through their 1-11, to 11, they have got some big, big, you know, big hitters. Yeah. Switzerland have gone there. I mean, you've got, you're playing, there's the spaces in the middle of the park. They're playing this open, trying to stretch. No, no, you, you need the ball. To play an open, expansive style of football, you need the ball. Didn't really get the ball. Portugal brushed them aside. But that's what I'm saying about Morocco. Morocco are talking about a, t- a team here that will not allow Portugal anywhere near the space to dictate and score those goals. Mm. Do you think this is starting to see the end of Ronaldo now? You know, with him not playing. Um, Ramos, I thought, was, was, was brilliant. He scored a hat-trick. Looks electric yep. up yep. front. Yep. And all of a sudden now, you're starting to see a team that don't need Ronaldo. Do you think this is why... The big Champions League sides <laughs> look at it, Jason. Go, do we do we need him? Is it you know when there's eighteen year olds, nineteen year olds out there that all of a sudden burst in onto the scene, the new generation of footballer? Do you think this is why he's actually struggling to find a Champions League side? I think there's a number of reasons. <clears throat> his wages clearly is massive. If he plays for free, he's going to get a club. But his wages are so big. There's only a f- few clubs in world football. In fact, there's only a few places in world football that that can actually afford him. So there's the first stumbling block. The second one is, why do you want him? Well, you want him because he's Ronaldo, right? Can he do what he's doing now in the last seven, eight years ago? He can't. But he still scores goals. He's still a phenomenal striker. Still scores big goals in big moments. But you saw today from the young kid, can, is Ronaldo capable of that kind of, in those little tight areas, that movement? I don't, I mean, he's still a goal scorer. But what it showed, it showed that the Portuguese manager made a massive decision Huge, yeah. huge decision. It was, and it, paid, it off. paid off with interest. Yeah, it absolutely did. Would you take him if you was if you was an Arsenal fan? Jesus is out. He's got a knee injury. He's had, he's had surgery. He's mm. out for three, four months. Don't know, you know, the full mm. scowl of the injury. But mm. I'm sure we find out it's going to be a tough one back from the one player that they couldn't get injured in the World Cup has got yeah. injured for them. Mm. If you was Arteta, would you phone Ronaldo? Well, they can't afford his right foot. That's the problem. <clears throat> How are they going to afford to pay him? Yeah, well, they, they, could, they could win the Premier League. They need a striker. But he wants two and million. Ketty is not going to carry them over the line. He wants two million pound a month. Yeah, but that's to go to Saudi Arabia. Might no. be different if you're offering him the chance to win a Premier League. Say, listen, we'll bring you in on a six month deal. Well, okay, okay. We'll you're Ronaldo. You... You're Ronaldo, right? Yeah, yeah. Go on. I'll be, I'll be a Teta. Okay. Hello. Oh, sorry, wrong door. It's Jamie Hara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm after Ronaldo. Am I Ronaldo? I'm, I'm, All right. You've had a night out. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey. hey. <laughs> what is that? I'm, I'm Ronaldo. Hey. Hey. Yeah. What are hey. you doing? It, uh, I'm looking for uh, Ronaldo. Yes. See, okay. see. How much you come and pay for me? Uh, How much? How much you want? 500. 500,000. 500. A year? Oh, not a week. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a conversation, Jay. No, I bring, I bring you, I bring you Premier League. I bring you Premier League. <laughs> you better bring the Champions League <laughs> and, and the UEFA like, Champions League. You're not in oh, Champions no. League. The Tottenham are in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I don't know how that conversation is going to go I, down. I've, I've, I don't know. I don't know, Jay. I don't know. All right. Well, let's go to Nick, who's a Liverpool fan. All right, Nick. How's it going, chaps? Yeah, yeah. good, Nick. How are you? Very good, thank you. Um, yeah, Portugal looked good tonight, man. Without Ronaldo, they look incredible. They, they. They could win it. If they don't play Ronaldo, they could win it. They look brilliant. They look like one of the best teams in the tournament. Against a Swiss team, by the way, that gave Brazil a lot of problems and were very, very hard to break down against Brazil. So, mm, no, no. Without... Well, no one's really talked about Portugal, have they? Which is more for us, really. We've always talked about France, England, Argentina, Brazil, even Spain, Germany. No one really mentioned Portugal. They've been real kind of underdogs in this competition. But tonight, winning 6-1... That puts them right on the map in terms of, hold on a minute, this this side, who actually on paper, is a top side. 
Yeah, I mean, if you, if you look at their personnel, they've got world class player after world class player. Bernardo Silva, they've, they've got top top footballers. Mm. Ruben Diaz, João and Felix, I, Fernandez. I, yeah, I think it was the right call not to play Ronaldo. Not playing Ronaldo, a big big call to make. I didn't think he'd do it. I didn't think he'd have the the stomach to do it. But it's, it, it's, it's made them look far far better of a team. They've got more pace in behind. They've got more energy. They look, they look like a more complete team without Cristiano Ronaldo weighing them down. Mm. Yeah. Looks like that. Looks like it. And this has been, this has been a slow burner because he scores goals and and, and has such a big impact, and such a big personality. It, it's almost impossible to 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 drop him. Oli didn't do it when he was there. We saw Ten Hag come in. Wasn't you know? Didn't see the the, the wood through the trees. Sorry, not Ten. Um, uh, Ralph Reniak. Sorry, I do apologise. Yeah. And then Ten Hag has come in, and then he's seen the the, the light, and he's moved him aside. Now you see Manchester United when he comes out the team, he's starting now to look like there's a bit more of a formula. Today was massive for him. I felt for Ronaldo a little bit because he's the talisman. But the scoreline tells you exactly all you need to know.